Hello, my name is Purple Flurp, and I make Warframe Captura. I've been doing this for about five years now, and one of the most common questions I've gotten over those five years is, how do I get my game to look so high res? Um, so in this video, I'm going to answer that question for you and give you everything you need to take max resolution Captura on PC. Okay, so you've set up your Captura shot, and you're ready to take the picture. Uh, your first instinct may be to follow the instructions on this, uh, this options panel here. Uh, and use F6 to take the screenshot. Uh, don't do that. Uh, F6 will take the screenshot as a compressed JPEG, um, which means less quality in the image and even less quality if you want to edit it further. Um, and usually, um, if you're taking a picture in the game, you want it to look as good as possible, you're probably going to edit it more uh, after taking the initial shot. So instead, let's take the shot as a PNG. Uh, PNGs are lossless, meaning they retain their quality even if you edit them multiple times, which is obviously ideal for what we want them for. Uh, PNGs also show up better on Discord's desktop app for some reason, uh, while JPEGs will appear blurry, uh, unless you open them in a separate window. Uh, it's just kind of a weird uh, little quirk that Discord has, but it makes PNGs even more optimal. Um, all right, so let's figure out how to take a PNG screenshot. There are actually a couple of ways to take Captura as a PNG. Um, one is to use the print screen function on your computer and paste the image into a separate program after that. Uh, you can also use an external snipping tool like Lightshot to save the image, and that'll also be a PNG. Uh, but my preferred method is to just use Steam's built-in screenshot tool. Um, that also works best for taking high-res Captura, which we'll get to later. So to set up high PNG screenshots on Steam, you're going to go to Steam in the upper left-hand corner here. You're going to click settings. You're going to click in game in these settings, and you're going to make sure that save and uncompressed copy is checked. Um, what that'll do is it'll make sure that when you press the screenshot shortcut key, in this case F12, uh, it'll save a PNG to whatever you choose as your screenshot folder. Um, you can click this button and designate what folder you want the screenshots to go to. Um, and when you press F12, it'll save a PNG to that folder, which is pretty cool. All right, now for the interesting part. Uh, taking 4K, 8K, or if you're crazy, uh, 10K resolution pictures in Captura. Uh, this technique is called hot sampling, and it lets you take super high res pics even if your hardware is on the lower end of things. So to hot sample, you'll need to download a program called Simple Runtime Window Editor, or SRWE, uh, which future me will provide a link to in the video description for you. Essentially, this tool lets you boost your game resolution right before you take your screenshot. Um, so this lets you set up the capture itself in your native resolution, which is nice and comfortable for you, um, and then boost it right before the shot. So you can set it up easily and then get the max quality picture that you are aiming for. Once you download SRWE, you open it up, you click Select Running Application, and obviously you're going to select Warframe from the list. And after that, you're going to make sure that the width and height in this section is set to your monitor's native resolution. Mine is 1920 by 1080, so that's what I have it set to. And also make sure the scale is 1. Uh, this is the most important section now, window scaling for megapixels. So first you're going to want to make sure that the aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9, so nothing gets squished or stretched out. And the megapixels, altering this will change the output resolution. So right now I have it set to 30, which is almost 8K. Um, if I set it to 8.3, that's 4K. I mean, you can basically type in any amount you want based on what resolution you're aiming for. Uh, Warframe kind of has diminishing returns in terms of texture quality and things like that after 4K resolution, but it can be useful to go to 8K if you're taking like a far away shot or you want to maintain distance uh, um, quality at a distance, which is cool. Um, all right, so after you have your resolution set, you're going to click set and it's going to set the game to that resolution. So you'll notice after I do that, uh, you can only see a small corner of the screen. Uh, that's supposed to happen. The game itself is rendering at the resolution you chose, which means that your tiny monitors can't fully contain uh, the resolution that the game is rendering at. <laughs> so what you do now is you just click the screenshot tool and it'll take the picture at that resolution, even if you only see part of the screen. To set things back to normal, you just click fake full screen on the panel and boom, things are back to normal. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. After that, your screenshot will save to your screenshot folder that you designated earlier. Um, let's go check how that turned out. So here we are at the screenshot that we took. Uh, as you can see, I forgot to toggle the panel visibility before boosting the resolution, uh, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so if you look at the file info, we can confirm that the screenshot was indeed taken at around 8K resolution. And if you zoom in, you can see that the quality of the texturing and the uh, resolution in general is just drastically higher than it was at 1080. Mm. Look at that crucial zone. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, after, after you've done that, you can edit the image however you want. It's now a lossless PNG because you saved it using Steam. And yeah, you are good to go. While a higher resolution can definitely take Captura to the next level and make it look a bit better, it's for sure not a substitute for good lighting, composition, and proper Captura settings. My buddy Vash has an awesome video about all that good stuff, and I'll link it down below for you. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful.